So there you can see that there's a nice gestational sac right there. Yeah. And we're going to zoom it up a little bit. Yeah. And honestly, it's a little early to see, mm -hmm. uh, but we, you know, this is really all we expect to see is a gestational sac. But we only see one, right? And we only see one, yes. Okay, because there was a concern about if there was more than one in here. Yeah, so that's that's perfect. So okay. so you're measuring right where you expect to be in terms of... Now, the gestational sac site is not as, as uh, predictive as seeing a fetal pole, right. but the size is right on where you should be. Now, can I ask you a question? Do you smoke? No. Okay. I do not. Okay, good. It's already there. So, okay, good. And then let's go ahead um, and while we're at it, let's do this. While you're move, while you're doing that, let's acquire. So I think you go ahead and move it back and forth a little bit. And, and I think it records a, uh, or it should record a uh, center loop. I got to sit down, that hurts my arms. <laughs> Didn't acquire it, so. Okay, so it looks like there are two cylinders acquired. Okay, good. So let's go ahead and freeze and we'll give you. Um, go ahead and do that. Can you tell what side it implants it on? Uh, it's. Can yeah, we can, it? we, but it's pretty much in the middle. It looks like posterior right in the middle. Go ahead and print and then go ahead and acquire. Have a theory on which side of your uterus your baby <laughs> implants on is what difference what you're gonna have. Okay, all right. But I'm right in the middle, so I'm having a transgender child. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so, baby. I don't think so. No. Do you want to see? Yeah, let's look at the ovaries real quick and make sure that they look good. So what we're looking at now is just the ovaries, but okay. so Jessica, within the 